Okay, these are four quick and easy tips that will really optimize your Mac for audio production. I use Cubase, but this will work for any, pretty much any Mac and any DAW software that you use. So number one, you're gonna go into your system preferences, and it might not be obvious to some, but the screensaver, make sure it's never on, especially when you're recording. I mean, once you're done, you can put it back on, but make sure it's never on because if you're in the middle of a recording and you know you kind of leave it for a while and then it comes back it's just it's going to mess with your stuff so the next thing you're going to go to is spotlight now when you go to privacy here delete anything that's there if your hard drive is there delete it because the indexing that this thing does It'll do it at the worst time when you're recording a band with a lot of audio tracks and it's going to mess you up. So get rid of that. Make sure there's nothing here. So had I had something there, I would just select it and delete it. That's it. The next thing we're going to go to is energy saver. Any energy saver. So these are my settings. As you can see, these are all unticked. And as far as battery, I have it set at like an hour and a half or put hard drives like that's just in case I forget because obviously I don't want everything running all the time but that's a good thing or you, you can you know set it to like an hour 45 but I have it at about there but like I said the most important thing the power adapter make sure none of this is ticked and finally number four after running your Mac for a few months you might be losing hard drive space and wondering where the hell is this going? And that happened with my first Mac. I'm like, I check my files and there's plenty of space. I mean, I should have plenty of space, but suddenly it was gone. And it was right here. You're gonna go to the finder, like just click on anything, go to the finder, go to go, and then go to folder. And that's what you have to go to. So. You have to type that in exactly, that squiggly lines, you know, library caches, just as you see it. So do that and then go here. And there's your caches. So depending, you know, I, I had gigs and gigs on there on my old Mac. So all you got to do is select all that and put it in the trash. As simple as that. And that usually frees up quite a bit of space and like I said if you had a Mac for years and you've never done that you might get five gigs out of there or ten gigs but I try to do this like at least once a month so that's it hopefully that was helpful